Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. <sighs> so I just want to talk about motherhood. Like, I just feel like, i only been a mother for two years now, but I just feel like moms, we have a big role that we have to play in little people's lives. And I think mothers have like more responsibilities than fathers do. That's just my opinion. I don't, I didn't never have my dad around. I only had my mom and my grandma and aunties and people like that around to, you know, show me how I'm supposed to do what, I, what I'm supposed to do. So I never had a father figure. So I just feel like mothers, we have to like do everything under the sun for our kids. Like if they're sick, we got to make sure they're okay. We got to make sure, you know, they got their medicine. If they go to school, we got to, you know, make sure they don't get other kids sick or things like that. Plus, we have to take care of home. We have to have a job and go to work. So when you go to work, you got to find babysitters. And it's just a whole lot. And I be stressed out because I know I'm, I'm not a single mother, but I am. Um, my children's father is uh, currently locked up right now for um, situations that he did in the past. So he's currently serving time. And we just patiently waiting for him to come home. But since he's away, everything is like falling on me. Like, I have to make sure I keep a job so I can keep a roof over our head, food in our bellies, clothes on our back. And I don't have just one. I have two little kids. Two little ones. Like, they're right back to back. Like, so, I have to, if I do for one, I definitely have to do for the other one. Or, you know, it'll be a fuss and fight, crying, all that extra stuff. So, I just feel like mothers have a, a strong, like, we have to be strong mentally, physically, emotionally. We have to be able to carry the household on our back. And, you know, sometimes we don't even have nobody to talk to. When I was pregnant with my son, um, I lost a couple friends or, you know, I didn't have as many friends that I used to have before I got pregnant. And then when I got pregnant with my daughter, I, I had my best friend. She was with me. But, you know, at times when you by yourself and you just thinking about everything and what you're going through, you feel like you're alone. Like, you don't have nobody. Don't nobody really understand the mental state that a pregnant woman be in when she's pregnant all our emotions are like all over the place and we're thinking about everything in our life so when i was pregnant with my daughter i was definitely going through a lot of stuff with my child's um, father and things like that so i just feel like dang why when you get pregnant you lose friends like why do friends don't want to be friends with the pregnant people no more i mean we still the same person we just have to give birth to a human <laughs> but like i lost a lot of people that i thought was my friends or a little close to me and stuff so that's like another thing that us mothers have to think about too every day like we still, it's not like a grieving, but it's like, dang, we don't have nobody in common with us like that. It's a lot of people that have kids. I don't know what they do, how they feel, how they think. I don't know a lot of people that have kids or had kids. Cause I'm not, I'm social, but I'm not social. Um, I'm a lame. <laughs> but, man, it's a lot that mothers have to freaking go through. And then... And I spoiled my daughter because I had her. Her dad was in, her dad's in jail. He was in jail and I had her. So I spoiled her. I wanted her to be under me and, you know, love me and make sure she's comfortable and safe and can run to me. Why did I do that? That little girl is so spoiled. Like, you got to deal with the baby crying and want you to hold them and want, want your attention 24-7. But not just her. When she's doing it, her big brother sees that, and then he wants to do it. So now I'm packing around two big old babies. So it's a lot of freaking stuff to deal with. And I just want to say, if anybody's out there that's in the same situation as me, 
you're not alone I know I'm not alone so I hope to meet or anybody that's in this situation um, you know being a hard-working mother basically kind of like a single parent in some situation however way you want to put it um, so I just try to keep my um, what do you call it I just try to keep my energy and keep thinking positive and you know look at the brighter side of the picture that I have two beautiful kids that adore me and loves me for who I am and I want to help them become better people than I and their father is so I'm trying to keep us on the right track it's a lot dealing with it you know having small children i'll see if you have like you already been through it and your kid is older it could be a little easier but it's hard when you got small children because like when you have to go to work you gotta make sure you have babysitter people that you know are willing to watch your kids it, even if they're bad <laughs> my kids they're not bad but you know how kids are at one and two years old so they like to do a lot of stuff and got a lot of energy and want to play and all that other good stuff so it just be a lot of stress that you have to deal with when it comes to having kids so i only been a mother for two years my son my oldest he's only two so i'm still learning i i'm open to any ideas or anything any you know whatever anybody have to um, offer advice or whatever but I just want to share how I feel or I guess my insight on motherhood it's a lot being a mom and I really I salute every mother grandma whoever out there that's taking care of your kids or other people kids continue to be that good positive role model in those kids life um, change their life for better try to keep them on the right track and just do the right thing for them and with them help them grow inspire them encourage them um anything that you can do to keep the kids on the right track because kids without a parent parent those are the ones that really need the most attention and the love um that they aren't receiving from the absent parent so I try to keep, I try to, you know, do the right thing and um, make sure my kids is comfortable and safe and, you know, are happy, smiling. So if I see them happy and smiling, laughing, giggling, whatever, I feel like I'm doing a, a good job. Um, I don't have all the money in the world to get them every toy that I see or they see in the store or things like that, but they're alive they're breathing they're healthy and we just gonna keep doing that and whatever comes our way we're gonna battle it and we're gonna ride the wave so shout out to everybody out there i'm not putting down any dads out there any single dads or grandpas or anybody but you know they know from looking at their mom or whoever in their life past experiences that the mom i feel like the mom is like the head of the household she's the one who's gonna make sure you're healthy you fed you got you can close shower so i yeah just salute to all moms out there um do your do your job do it the best you can if you need help or if anybody want to talk about anything that they're going through you know just have somebody to vent to i'm open open i'm open <laughs> um i'm free Hit me up on my social medias. I'll post it in the description box below. Um, yeah, this I just wanted to share that, you know, insight, motherhood, something. So stay tuned. I got some other stuff I want y'all to, um, you know, discuss with me or I'll discuss with you guys. Um, yeah, salute to all the moms out there.